YouTube was popping. Brand new whip just hopped in. Got another video for you guys today. If you didn't know already, Don Tolliver. Don Tolliver, I think I'm saying that right. Um, he dropped his album pretty recently. It's called Heaven or Hell. And I know Wonder Girl produced a lot of the songs on there. So what we're gonna be doing today is I'm gonna just show you guys how to make your drums like super punchy and just like that Wonder Girl, like Travis Scott feel, like that type of stuff right there. So I'm gonna be showing you guys like what to do with your kicks, snares, claps, hi-hats, and 100% of your 808. So let's get right into this video. I already went through some samples and found this one. I'm gonna be using this uh, this sample. I believe it's from Foreign's, uh, Foreign got him. I think it's from his loop kit, but uh, it's just called Nav, 147 BPM. I felt like it fit pretty pretty good, so that's what we'll be using today. So first thing I'm gonna do is, sometimes when people make samples, there's this little space right here. So what I'm gonna do is just hold down Alt, uh, make sure stretch mode's off, hold down Alt, and just drag this little part out. And now it should be perfectly on time. And then uh, we'll just go through and listen to the sample real quick and let you guys hear what it sounds like. So I'm going to cut it right here just because I don't think I'm going to use the rest of this. And sounds like, let's see. So this is part of the loop and then this right here. Oh man, I think I cut it a little too early. Let's see. Yeah, so there's three different parts right here. There's like a initial part of it. There's a little vocal that gets added right here and then the vocal gets deleted and there's like a bell that gets added right here. So I'm gonna loop this part um, and then I'm going to go right over here to your uh, pattern selector. I'm going to bring pattern one into the playlist. And I'm going to just drag it across all eight bars. All right, so something I noticed a lot on this album was instead of like claps or snares, um, they used they used like a, a perk, like kind of like a perk snare, like a stick, something, something like that. So I'm going to go through and try and find something cool. So everything I'm going to be using today is actually going to be in my kit, my new kit that just dropped. So... You want some nice drums? Go ahead and cop that. All right, so I'm gonna be using this perk from my uh, kit called Dragon. So I'm drag that into this right here, and I'm gonna just set it on the uh, two and the four. Go ahead and do that. And one thing I always notice Wonder Girl does is her drums are. They have like a, a nice swing to them. So I'm gonna go in and move the shift knob a little bit just to throw it off. So basically what it does is it takes it, it takes each hit off the grid just a little tiny bit. So I'm gonna be doing that. See, I might use this wheezy, uh, this wheezy perk in my kit. Yeah, I like that one a little better. So first thing I'm gonna do is, since it's over eight bars, I'm gonna highlight the first four, hit Command B, just repeat it over. And then we're gonna go in and try and find a hi-hat. I'm gonna be using this hi-hat for my kit called Downgrade. I'm gonna throw that in there. First, I'm gonna do uh, fill each two steps. And I'm definitely throwing the hi-hats off the grid a little bit, probably a little bit more. And then let's see how this sounds. I feel like this is too fast, so I'm gonna see if I'm gonna go into the playlist again and I'm gonna click my sample and set it to stretch just so when I change the BPM, it doesn't, uh, you know, move the sample. So I'm gonna bring it down to like, I wanna try like one, like 127. No, we're gonna go one, 131. Cool, so I'm actually gonna change the hi-hat uh, to fill each four steps. All right, so I'm going to the piano roll. I'm gonna hit shift down arrow just once just to bring the hi-hat to a lower note. 
And then I'm going to go in and just add some rolls and stuff. All right, cool. So this is what I ended up clicking in. So I'm going to let you guys listen to that. So I'm also going to duplicate this over for the next four bars. And then I'm going to add a little tiny bit of reverb to the hi-hat just to fill it out. Cool, so next thing I'm gonna do is try and find an open head. So I'm gonna just be using this basic one right here. It's called I Hate Naming These. Uh, so I'm gonna drag that in right over here. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and bring up the, uh, I already got it set up, but I'm gonna pull up the envelope tab. And yours would probably look like this. And what I'm gonna do is just bring the attack down, the hold all the way up and everything else all the way down, just so as soon as I let go of the note, it instantly stops playing. So now I'm gonna go in, and we'll just make some cool hi-hat rolls. All right, cool, so this is what I came up with. All right, so just like everything else, I'm gonna highlight the first four bars and duplicate it over. So now I'm gonna just add like some snares and stuff, maybe some perks and see what we can do. So I got this snare already preloaded. So I'm just see if I can find some, find some good spots for this. All right, so this is what I got for the snare. I'll let you guys hear that real quick. Turn that down a little bit too and i'm also going to pan it to the left just a tiny bit and then i got this perk right here already loaded up sounds like that film piano roll and i'm gonna use it like really low pitch right, so this is what i got for that little perk perfect so i'm gonna duplicate that over as well and that's pretty much it for perks, drums, hi-hats, and stuff like that. So now I'm going to get into uh, the kick. So what I'm going to do for the kick is I think I'm going to stack two kicks. So I'm going to definitely use a rack kick, which is in my kit. Uh, I'm actually going to be using this one. It's just a little harder version of the rack kick. And then I'm also going to be stacking it with this kick called Nuke. So I already got my kick, this uh, 1v1 kick loaded up. And then I'm going to route this second one to the same mixer track and then first I'm going to find a kick pattern all right so this is what I came up with for the kick pattern so I'll let you guys listen so I'm going to duplicate that over as well cool and then what I'm going to do is go into the channel rack, hit control C on the first pattern and control V on the second kick I have. But there must be a little delay or something on one of these. I'm going to try reverse polarity because these are not sitting well. There we go. I'm also going to go in and bring both of them down to B instead of C, just to make them a little darker. So I'm going to turn the second kick down. I'm actually going to trade this one out because I'm not liking how it sounds. Alright, cool. 
so at this point you might be wondering how my kick sounds like that so basically i already have them routed to this mixer track and what i have on there is a wave shaper and what this is actually working as um fru so fruity plugins most of them i'm not sure how this works with all of them but um for the wave shaper at least it has a soft clipper built into it so if i take this off you're going to hear a completely different sound <laughs> So next what we're going to do is work in an 808. So I'm going to just be using a spins 808. So I'm going to go in my kit and just grab spins 2. It's a little edit. It just makes it a little more distorted. And what I'm going to do is go in and just try and find the key because I do not know the key to sample. So the way I find the key is I'll drag in a note. I'll bring the velocity all the way up. I'm also going to turn down this 808 just a little tiny bit. And I'm going to bring it up two octaves and just try and find the key. The reason you do this is just because you can hear the tone a little bit better. And it just gives you a better idea of what fits and what doesn't. Yeah, so it's definitely E. Alright, so before I finish uh, clicking in this 808 pattern, I'm going to show you guys this little trick. Uh, honestly, most of you guys probably know about it by now if you watch any of the breakdown videos on... Uh, genius. So what I'm going to do is set the little magnet to uh, one sixth step and I have this note right here. So I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to hit, uh, I believe it's command U. Yeah, command U. So it's going to split it into a sixth step, sixth step. And then I'm going to have it, I'm going to have the notes just slowly increase in velocity. If I can get them all. Zoom it a little bit. And what this is going to do is going to make the 808 sound like it's kind of like rising up. You'll see. I'll let you guys listen to it real quick. So one thing I'm noticing is the melody is kind of clashing with the 808. So a little, little tip is add an EQ to your melody and just uh, take out the lower frequencies. I'd say anywhere from like 100 hertz <clears throat> to 150. All right, cool. So, I mean, that's, that's just about it for the drums. I mean, I think that's hitting pretty hard. As far as mixing, if you can't get your drums to sound like this, uh, you might need some new drum samples. And I mean, you can really find good drum samples anywhere now, but my kit does have some good shit, so you might want to cop that. But like I said, you might have bad sound selection, anything like that. But as far as mixing, I mean, literally on my 808, all I did, I got it turned down to only, it's about minus three decibels. I got a wave shaper on there and I just dragged the tension up a tiny bit just to distort those, uh, like mid frequencies just a tiny bit more so you can hear it better like i said i got the wave shaper acting like a uh, soft clip around my kick and then it's just going into a soft clip around the master and as far as my other drums i just mix them until they sound right it, i don't have anything else on them i mean really just some eq to take out those lower frequencies just in case they're clashing but nothing more all right, before I finish this, I'm going to add some one shots to this, just to add some texture and stuff. So I'm going to be uh, using just some one shots that I have downloaded. Uh, I'm probably going to be working in this uh, this Base One Rogue one shot kit. Shout out to Base One. All right, so super, super simple pattern right here. Literally just almost following the root note. Um, so I'm going to just duplicate this over. It kind of sounds like a flute. Uh, I'm definitely going to turn it down and then I'm going to go to the mixer and I'm going to just add a reverb. You can use anything. I'm going to be using Valhalla Vintage Verb. I'll make a huge decay, just uh, probably the mix down to like 20%. Perfect, so that's pretty much it. Now what I'll do is show you guys how I'd arrange this beat. 
So I'm gonna go here, split by channel on the drums and just drag them all in. All right, so I'm gonna start the intro out with an eight bar, basically the full melody. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have everything drop right here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this 808 out. And I'm gonna select just the part where I have that little 808 rise. Cool, so uh, I'm basically gonna use that as a riser. And then, like I said, everything's gonna drop right here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my kit and I'm gonna grab this effect right here called, I think it's whoosh. That's whoosh. So I'm gonna drag that in. And I'm just gonna hold option on my keyboard and just drag it so it fits uh, perfectly. Should be like right here. I'm also gonna track it out and just turn it down a little bit. So this should be good. Let me see how this sounds. So the whoosh is a little too loud. I'm just keep turning that down. All right, I lied. I'm actually gonna have the intro without the bell that I added. So it's just gonna be super simple. So it's gonna be a little eight bar intro right here. Got the riser and then everything's gonna drop. And then for the second part, I'm gonna duplicate all the drums over. I'm gonna have the drums fall out right before the second part. And I'm gonna have the drums uh, have like a delayed uh, start. So it's gonna start right here and then I'm just gonna drag the hi-hat out a little bit and the, the, the perk. All right, cool. And then for the rest of the hook, what I would do is duplicate this part, make it unique as a sample, and then pitch it down 1200 cents just so it's down an octave. I'm also gonna turn it up a little bit cause it's gonna get a little quieter. And then I'm just gonna have the 808 be in there with uh, the perk. And uh, let's see, also this snare, and I think this one as well. All right, cool, and then uh, next I would just uh, duplicate this over twice, go to the end right here, and just have uh, this part of the sample Come over again to act like a little outro. Go to the automation or go to the master channel, create automation clip, and then just have the volume fade out. And that is literally all I would do for this beat. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely think this would be uh, something Don Tyler would get on. So you know, Adam, tell him tell him he got he's got to get on this shit, but. Anyways, guys, I hope you learned something. If you did, definitely like the video, subscribe. Let me know some more video ideas. So, yeah, I hope to make some more for you guys. I hope you're learning and I hope you're enjoying these videos. That's all I got for you right now. I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.